you. Donald Trump says he is unshackled now, and that includes going to war with his own party if necessary. This is a day after House Speaker Paul Ryan jumped off the Trump bandwagon, so we wanted to know today if any Indiana Republicans were just as concerned. Our political reporter Kevin Rader caught up with GOP Senate candidate Todd Young just a short time ago in Vigo County, and he talked to him about this so-called Trump effect. Tiny Sealyville, Indiana becomes the center of politics, at least in the race for United States Senate on this Tuesday. Why? It's because Senator Dan Coats came for a visit and he brought with him Congressman Todd Young. Todd Young. Congressman, how are you? The two are in Sealyville to talk about an IRS bill both are working to pass that would require notification by the IRS and any changes of tax laws that affect not-for-profits. But it also gave Congressman Young a chance to state his feelings about the recent Trump tape from 11 years ago. I found the, the remarks from years ago highly offensive and um, uh, highly inappropriate as well. Uh, that said, I've also been clear that uh, I intend to support the Republican uh, nominee, but I also intend to speak out on a regular basis uh, as I have uh, when things arise that I disagree with. Young has come under attack from his Democratic opponent, Evan Bott, for not speaking out about taking a stand against Trump earlier. I've heard from Todd sure, right from the I very, have. very beginning. Yeah, so, so I guess but he hasn't you... been here to read that, so. <laughs> I suppose if you, if you say that... Uh, something uh, often enough whether or not uh, there's veracity to it uh, there's a perhaps a hope uh, that someone will believe it senator coates was more direct but also added the voters are voting for change he apologized we're moving on uh, the real question for the american people here is uh, for me uh, is is very basic uh, the country is looking for change with that the debate of being on the record on the trump issue is now resolved in Sealyville, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. And more Hoosiers are registered to vote in next month's election than in any election for more than a decade. Today is the deadline to register, and the state election board tells us that the number of people registered is nearing 4.8 million. Early voting begins tomorrow. You can go to WTHR.com for more information on how to make sure you're registered and where you can vote early.